Hey, what's going on? David Adelon here with my friend Spencer. And uh, last time we went over going how to do the perfect knee bar. This time around, we're going to do the complementary submission to the knee bar, which is a toe hole. So we'll talk about how to set up the perfect toe hole and how to finish it. There's a few details that some people miss out on, which make a big difference for that toe hole. And uh, we'll go ahead and show you how that's going to look like. So let's go ahead and break it down. So I'm starting from the side mount. I just really want to highlight the, the toe hold first and we can talk about a couple of ways of setting it up. Now one of the easy positions to do this is whenever somebody blocks the mount by tucking a knee and I see people who put their foot up like this, to me this is an easy invitation to get a leg lock and particularly a toe hold. If I see them like this, all I do, I'll put my knee, and we put it this way, my knee behind their knee, so now I've trapped that leg from coming back down. And now I can sit up, reach for the toes, make my figure four. And pretty much everybody's familiar with this figure four grip. The thing is, uh, I, want to, I see sometimes people grab too low on the foot here, right? You want to try to reach as high as you can on the toes while maintaining you still have a strong grip. So if I'm grabbing here, I'm not going to fall off. But usually, where your pinky finger is, you want to try to line it up with his pinky toe. Oh, yeah. So you're really high up on the foot. Okay. Then, again, figure four. That's the usual. All right. And uh, if you follow the Kimura game, same thing here. I have motorcycle grip, everything. And you can see he's sort of flinched right there. All right. Because usually what people focus on with a toe hold is doing this. Right. Which is rotating the foot. Uh, this way, but there's also this element here, right? And this is the one that a lot of people miss, which is sort of like when you're running and you roll your ankle, you do that same lock here. Like I can tap them out by crunching the foot there, okay? So you want to try to get both of those things together, all right? So when I grab this toe hole here, here, motorcycle gripping, and you see by doing the motorcycle grip, it already turns the foot so that it's folding on this axis here, and then we're also twisting it at the same time, right? So here, here, roll it down, boom. So now, by doing the same crank that we normally do, which is turning it this way, but since we rolled the ankle, we're, we're actually breaking this ankle in two ways with one motion now, okay? But if we're loose in the foot and we're just doing this part, where he has his foot straight, you might not get that, okay? so. Again, in here, motorcycle grip, boom. All right, so again, the idea here, get this part of the ankle lock, or the toe hold here, crunching the, the, like rolling the ankle as you twist at the same time. All right, so again, from the beginning, I'm up, I'm trying, maybe I'm trying to mount, he's tucking his leg in, get behind it, boom. All right, so now when you do toe holds, the common thing here is going to be they're going to try to kick their legs out sometimes, like straighten the leg out or punch it up there, right? Some people will flex the foot, get it strong, so you're like this, right? So either way, when they flex the leg this way, this is when your knee bar comes into play because now I get to step through, boom. And from our last video, remember I got my perfect knee bar sitting on his hips. You know, I can still work to crank this here, or I can just fall back, boom, and get my knee bar again, all right? This, this is the relationship that the knee bars and toe holds have. And similarly, if I'm going for this knee bar, and he tucks his leg in, like he folds in, and, you know, I lost the knee bar because he's figure four or whatnot, I could also look to start capturing toe holds here, all right? So, Usually they, they work in pairs when one is defended, the other one is available. So I'd go for a knee bar, he defends the knee bar, now I can look for a toe hold. Or likewise, if I'm going for a toe hold, you know, and he's kicking that out, now I come back, take that knee bar again. Okay, so they really work well together if, you're, if you have an eye for them. Now, if you're on top, you know, and I'm doing my toe hold here, 
the again, like I said, he could kick your feet out, or I'm sorry, my hands out, or whatnot, right? So that's something to be aware of. Okay, if you're giving yourself like wide elbows or whatnot, you try to tuck it in, but he'll still manage to get that foot in. So if he does kick out your your hands, go ahead, boom. Then look for the knee bar right afterwards, boom. Yeah, it's going to be there because he's focusing on defending just his foot and not his whole leg. Okay, so that is working on setting up the perfect toe hold. Again, key things, roll the ankle and then twist it. Okay, and likewise, always look for that knee bar right after the toe hold and vice versa. If you're going for the knee bar, looking for the toe hold.